watch Spider-Man Far From Home. I hope you enjoyed our little mini skit right there. Yeah. At a theater that was a little far from home. It was it a was, little far from yeah, home of a, a theater. Little far from this home. is going to be a spoiler-free discussion, and then we're going to release a video later on in the week diving deep. So what do yeah. you guys think of the movie? Man, uh, it was, I think... That this is the best live action Spider Man movie. Yes. Ooh, yeah. so I give it a yes. 10 out of maze out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. It was really and fucking good. The first half of the movie felt a little hokey to me, but. No, I loved it all. I loved no, it. no, no, no. No, it I, felt, I, no, no. I, no, no, no. Let me finish. Really it felt a little hokey to me, but there was a reason it was that way because I knew kind of what was coming. So that, yeah. that's why it felt hokey. It wasn't because it was hokey. It, I think it was intentional. I like the, the all the high school stuff because yeah, it's a, it, it is a teenage movie. It is still a high school movie, and it, it kind of functions as a Euro trip movie. And for all that's packed into the movie, they get so much mileage out of everything, and none of it was confusing. Yeah. Like I was excited the whole way through, and I really was rooting for Peter to get what he wanted out of the movie, and yeah. I felt for him. So it was. It was yeah. very well done. Packed, so much was included, and it was never too much. Yeah, it was it was very believable relationships with all the high school kids and friends and all the shenanigans and all. It was yeah. uh, it was still packed with that signature it, Marvel comedy. Yep. So where so funny, and the secondary character. Oh, oh, I just want to say that uh, the one thing I liked about like spoiler free was that I, after watching the the trailers like a couple of times, I felt like the trailers didn't give up that much of the movie yeah. at all, except for that one part. Yeah, yeah it's the Mary Jane part. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, I felt like the trailers really kind of like off roaded what really happened in the movie, and that was really well as done. Far as, yeah. The, yeah, as far as like Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, and as far as like the whole that. overall story, you know, no spoilers or nothing. It, yeah. They definitely did not, you know. What I dig is kind of this feels like a throwback. Not a throwback. I don't know. It feels like actual Peter Parker to me. When I think of Peter Parker, I think of like a high school kid who's got like some high school drama and he's always trying to like live his life and he's a nerd, but also he's a superhero, which is hard to juxtapose those two things against themselves because one of them is supposed to be like this big bag bombastic, like I'm a freaking superhero. And the other one is like, you know, I'm a nerdy kid at school who can't get many things done. And so like I, they really did that super well. It felt like authentic Peter Parker to me because like Tobey Maguire love him to death never really felt too much like an actual like teenager no. and then Andrew Garfield very much felt like a teenager but also was way too fucking cool to be Spider-Man and then like it feels like Tom Holland is the best of both of them where he can bring yeah. that awkward nerdy and like he really got to bring that out in this movie even more than he did in Homecoming yeah I, I, if Tobey Maguire was like the Peter Parker Daily Bugle Spider-Man yeah. this is I, like I like how he's still in high school. Like we're really getting the, the teenage Spider-Man, and that is who he is. And then, this it. felt like Spider-Man Two in a way, with how he has to balance so much yeah, in yeah. his life. So it gave off those vibes. Yeah. I, like I, was better? I, I thought it was great. I think it was better than Homecoming for sure. So other good things about it that I actually enjoyed. Um, there were, and no spoilers, but there were surprises. There were surprises that, and usually in a movie, especially in a Marvel movie, you think you kind of know where it's going, but Marvel's still willing to screw with the formula a little bit and still kind of give you something unexpected and that's really awesome that we're this deep into the game and they can do it all the references to uh tony stark the, the beginning of the movie is super good there is this uh this wonderful thing that happens like the very first thing you see and they, i kind of <laughs> caught on to it about it halfway through yeah you like laugh at it you're like i for us i think a lot of us are like we remember either seeing stuff like that or actually making Doing stuff like it, that yeah. just like <laughs> you're like oh man yeah that was so funny that was so fucking funny <laughs> Man, it was good and really good uh, music selection. Wow, again. Michael Giacchino did the music for this movie. The, the soundtrack you know what show he did music for? Why? <laughs> it starts with an L. <laughs> oh, 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 Lion and Kugel. Yes. The show. Yes. Is it uh, <laughs> Lost? Lost! In order! No, it's Lost. Tip of my tongue. But he does a lot of Disney soundtracks, no. and the soundtrack for this was really great because it, need, also, it but needed also to be like hammed the, up sometimes. But I don't also, know if you like noticed. this music, music. Like, like the that. pop music. Yeah, the pop music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I like yeah. the song selections yeah. that they use here and there. Yeah. The locations were super sweet. Yeah. Uh, there's even some we didn't know, and when you guys do see the movie, remember the trailer, the first trailer reaction that we did that went on forever? I put some jokes in there that turned out to be like legit. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> legit jokes are legit. How about that? <laughs> uh, and there are some characters in the movie, minor minor characters, but they're 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 for, really good. They're, they're, they're development too. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. I'm saying they're the like the comedic relief characters. That they did. We didn't see them in the in the trailers or yeah. didn't know they were going to be in it. Um, but it was really Ned. nice to have those two in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, the friend I knew would be there, and like yeah. Zendaya, well, Mary Jane. Not, not the friends. The, the, the chaperones. The chaperones were hilarious. The actors yeah. that they chose for the chaperone yeah. were perfect. Yeah. I just want to say I know both of them individually, and it was like 
the two perfect people to deal with all this crazy shit that's happening yeah. while they're on this trip. <laughs> there's so. some fun. Uh, there's, there's some fun henchmen as well that uh, you don't know who they're henching for. So haha, you, you know. You know but do, they were fun. Like all the characters were really fun. Yeah. You do need to see the other movies. So like, uh, my friend asked, like, "Oh, can I just go see this? Do I need to see the others?" I'm like, "Yeah, you need to. You see, need to see. You yeah, really need to see. You, you need to see. It's it's you need such to see a solid Captain Marvel. All right, no, no. no, no, no I think you you can see." I think I think I'm gonna say you can get away just watching Homecoming and Far From Home, and maybe you have enough cultural knowledge of it. Unless you've been living in a cave, you should be able to fill in some blanks. I don't think so. Uh, I think it's yeah. been, so much is lost on them. There's so much scenes in there that, yeah, that callback. I, I disagree. Well, for the callbacks, but it'll they be, it'll be such a shame to watch that and not have seen the I, other three movies. They explain the things that were missing. They, I mean, those things are obviously too like it's like six hours worth of content. They explain in like three sentences. But, but they at least what I'm I, saying is that this movie is attempting to stand on its own because it at least gives you an explanation for what's happening. I think it's a super solid follow up to Endgame. I think this is like the best movie they could have yep. came up with after yeah. Endgame. So. Yeah, it was really, really good. I highly recommend going right, to see like, it. We were talking. It's wild we'll that uh, we'll Spider Man's been in what like six movies and only two of them are Spider Man movies. Yeah, like we've had so much of Tom Holland as Spider Man. Think like he's got a longer run right now, movies wise. Over any of the other Spider-Man, he's Spider-Man played Man. Spider-Man more times on a big screen than anybody. Than Doctor Strange is yeah. than Doctor Strange. <laughs> and <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And I think he does a lot of his own stunts. He, he does he? Like Tom Holland does parkour. Yeah, parkour. 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 Yeah, parkour he's, parkour. he's, he's a parkour. That, I think that's what got him the role. Is like he, he's his, a parkour aficionado. His ability to do parkour really well. He Damn, he's artist yeah. stuff like like super. Yeah, yeah. yeah. man, and this is. Yeah. Um, Go see it. He yeah, puts, go see he, it. He definitely puts it all in the movie, and you can see that Tom it's, Holland. Oh, really, the cat, yeah, the yeah, actor was Holland, really good. Tom Holland really, really, he, you can see that he's doing the best he can to play Peter Parker. And he yeah. wants to be, show so he wants to be well. Spider-Man, yeah. way, like Tony Spark wanted to be Stark, like an Iron yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. wants to be it. This is like a special release they did on Tuesday because it's the 4th of July weekend. Yep. I anticipate huge sales. It's already oh, at 150 God. million. For real? What? Though. Yeah. They're knocking out the fucking park. It's um. It's going to reach a billion for sure. Oh, yeah. I think Tom Holland kind of really embodies this role. Their casting is immaculate, and they do a really good job at casting. Everybody in this movie plays a role to a perfect T, like no one feels miscast as anything. It's really interesting. Yep, yep. And with that, we will see you on the much longer spoiler review where we're really going to sit down and break down the movie and more normies are going to be here. I'm going to watch it again. I don't know. But, don't yeah, it, it is that good. That yep. You'll probably want to see it again, so grab some friends. Go by yourself, whatever you want to do. We highly recommend you go check this movie out. It is yeah. so good. We want you, yeah, yeah. you want you, we want you in the discussion in the next video. So it please is. go see it. Yeah. So good, and then come back and join us for our spoiler review. Yep. Yo, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hit the like button, bye. Oh, hold on. Sorry, last thing. Put this anywhere in the video. Yeah. This July, we're giving away a PlayStation Xbox and a Nintendo Switch, all on the gaming channel. Make sure you subscribe to the gaming channel if you want a chance to win either a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One S, or a Switch or Nintendo. Oh, the Xbox is purple. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for our spoiler-free review of Spider-Man Far From Home. Thanks to all our fans, patrons, and super patrons listed up in yellow. We can't recommend this movie enough. We enjoyed it very much. Go watch it and then come back and join us later this week for our spoiler review where we're really going to sit down and break down the movie. And we'll see you guys then.